man, you guys, you're not gonna believe it. I had the camera off on the money shot. Oh my God, all that time, all that time. And I didn't get the shot. No, it was epic too, but I got the fish. Let's take it back to the house. Yeah. Hey guys, man, I'm sorry. I'm kicking myself in the ass for not having a camera on. I could swear I turned it on, I turned it off. I shot it, had a badass little fight. It was bigger than I thought when I pulled it out. Nevertheless, got one. I owe you guys a money shot. Hold me to it. See you at the house, everybody. Hey guys, I'm Oscar. You're watching Oscar Outdoors. Appreciate you joining us again. So we got that drum finally, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and cook that bad boy up. We're gonna fry him up, score him up with some fish fry, some chili cheese fries, some red lobster cheddar biscuits. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this fish up with the fillet knife, man, an ugly stick fillet knife. We're gonna review it up and see how, how it works out. I lost my other one and I've been cutting up my fish with other knives, but we're gonna try this bad boy out and see if it works out, you guys. Stay tuned. Yeah, I got it at uh, the store for about 20 bucks. Yeah, it's got a little sharpener on it. It's cool. Right there. Nice. It's got a good flex to it. Real sharp right out of the box. Nice rubber handle. Black and red, which happen to be two of my favorite colors. And got the little v notch sharpener in there, carbide tip sharpener. And the sheath to go with it. Oh, and it snaps in, that's cool. Oh, you pop it out with your thumb. It's got a little line cutting hook. I mean, uh, yeah. Little line cutting hook. Cool. Let's get started. All right, fish. Got a big bowl of ice right here, ready to go. All over my toes. And let's turn this thing around and see if we can't get into it. good fillets in the ice right there i'm gonna go ahead and cut the head off right there we're gonna save that thing for later i might use it for bait actually this time and discard the rest of this uh, fish all right now that we got all that meat filleted up i'm gonna take them out the ice and we're just gonna score it just a little bit so far this uh ugly stick knife is working pretty good turn around and Score the other side. Just like that. Okay, after rinsing them one more time, we're gonna go ahead and uh, use some cultured buttermilk and soak these fish in some of this buttermilk. Hey everybody, it's the next day actually, so I went ahead and let that fish uh, marinate in the, the buttermilk for overnight. So here it is now. And we went ahead and uh, we got that uh, breading out. We got the oil heating up. The cheese for the chili cheese fries and the chili is already nice and heated up. And in the ovens, the uh, cheddar biscuits, the red lobster cheddar biscuits. So. I got a pretty big pan here, but these uh, fillets that I cut up are kind of big, so I was gonna cook them whole, but I think I'm gonna cut them up in like strips and then put them in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these off of uh, the buttermilk and then uh, cut them up to little finger sized pieces and get them in that oil, you guys. All right, so I went ahead and just uh, 
drained off all that uh, buttermilk. I didn't really rinse it with water or anything like that because you want to use some of that to get that stuff to stick. I got the ugly stick fillet knife here. I'm going to cut this thing down to size. About right there, I guess. That looks good. Yeah, this knife's working out really well. Got a good grip, nice and sticky, and it's very sharp. It's gonna follow those score marks I did yesterday. All right, now that we got those things to cut, some nice little pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and then put the bread in here. And the reason why I keep a little bit of that buttermilk on there also is because buttermilk is made with uh, cornstarch. That cornstarch is going to help it and that milk and cream is going to help it stick, this bread and stick to it. Get a nice crunchy fish stick. I want to do a bunch like that. Yeah, so with these cheddar biscuits, you just follow the recipe on the box and they give you a little packet of seasoning that you can melt some butter and baste it. Alright, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and finish up the second batch right here and get it all plated. Here it is, the fried drum. Biscuits. Some awesome chili cheese fries. You can garnish this with your little bitty onions or whatever you want on that. Yeah, and you can uh, go ahead and sauce it up with some scorpion sauce Tabasco, if you're brave enough, and some tartar sauce. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, it looks good. There it is. Nice and hot. Has a slight catfish taste. Oh man, so good. That's fresh fish right there. That buttermilk, man, it mild it, it made it nice and mild. And, oh, so good. Try it out for yourself, you guys. Look at that meat. Delicious. real good wow that's real good all right you gotta break into one of these bad boys nice and fresh of course chili cheese fries are chili cheese fries man can not go wrong with that Yeah, appreciate you joining me for another episode of Oscar Outdoors, you guys. Stay tuned for another episode, you guys. Take it easy, y'all. Okay. Hold on, say that again real quick, baby. I like this one better than the other one. You like that one better than the buffalo? <laughs> How about you,
babe. Yeah, actually, it does taste better. You think so? Yeah. Man, I think that the drum tastes better than the buffalo fish. That's yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Right. Less bones. Less bones. <laughs> well, you know, I had to fillet the crap out of that one. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. So one out of ten, everybody. What do you think? Ten. Damn. What about you? Ten. Give it a ten. Dang, I think they're just being real nice, you guys. <laughs> Take it easy, y'all.